Hello and welcome back to another one of my gameplay videos on Dead by Daylight. Today I'll be playing as the Hag, and the perks I'll be bringing in are Barbecue and Chili 3, Nurse Calling 3, Monitor and Abuse 3, and Pop Goes the Weasel 3. My add-ons will be the Netflix add-ons, the uncommon and the rare one. Both of them moderately and considerably reduce the setting time for my traps, because I'm having trouble, like, putting down my traps super quick. It kind of is frustrating when you put them down and by the time you put it down, the survivor trips them or something and you don't have time to do all that or whatever. Um, I'm trying to get better with the hag. I'm not as good as I want to be. And I've been relying a lot on corrupt intervention. So I've been told that you shouldn't use corrupt intervention with hag, that you should just let the far generators go and lock down three generators that you really want to protect. Um, so to help with that, nurses calling and monitoring abuse so that way I can see people healing nearby, and obviously they're not going to hear me because of monitoring abuse. It makes my terror radius 8 meters smaller, and I have 24 meters, so that should make it 16 meters, uh, my normal thing. So it's like pretty small. They won't hear me until like I'm right up there. Pop goes the weasel, obviously, so when I hook somebody I can regress the generator. This will be the only generator pressure thing I have, but it's like one of the best ones, so it, it, well, I don't know. We'll see. And barbecue and chili, mainly just because of the the blood rush. Otherwise, I would put uh, what's it called, sloppy butcher, because I think that would go better with nurse calling and monitor abuse. But we'll see also on that. So yeah, let's uh, jump into it. All right, the grim pantry. I don't really like this map, but it should be messed up enough to where I can hide properly. And I don't have. I need to find a good spot for putting down my traps. She had dead heart. Everyone has dead heart. Should have remembered. Man, you gotta be kidding me.
Okay. Okay, they're down there. Okay, finally, I'm getting there. I'm getting my momentum up. Okay, I, know, I now know where they are, and I'm heading there right now. Decisive strike. Let's get this over with. Yeah. I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. I'm not going to be able to get this because this pr freaking person's going to get there before I can. Come on, put down the trap.
All of them are hurt. Of course, it never faces me towards the survivor I'm trying to get. Come on, give me that dead heart already. They were here in this area, but not anymore. guys put me through I'm not gonna let them escape Probably one of the hardest games I've had with the hag. Ugh. And I'm I'm only like rank five too, so mm. Yeah, each one had borrowed time. Only one had dead don't you had dead hard. Uh we're gonna live forever. All right, on to the next one. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as hard as this one. Oh my god, I had to get the worst map in this game. Was it? No, it wasn't offering. It was just by stupid luck. Okay, I need to find three generators. Oh man, and they're all like spread out, so messed up. Um, it's frustrating. I honestly don't know which three I'm supposed to protect. I guess these three right here. But one of them's upstairs, which is super annoying. There are a bunch of them spawned right here. I'm going to lose this gen before I even start it.
Oh, they found out that gen already is going to be done. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to capture it. God damn, man. I can't believe that actually worked. But again, I don't have a 3 gen lockdown already, so it's super hard. Uh, okay, they're on that one upstairs. I'm gonna lose that one. Because it's just... It takes too long to be able to get, the, get to the gen. That's the only problem with the ones upstairs. You have to climb up and then the survivors just jump out of the windows. Okay, I think they're still inside, so I might be able to get a few hits. These survivors are making a lot of mistakes, but man, this map is killing me over here. No, okay, she's going that way. I can't really let her get, uh... I went around it, man. white go I don't like to complain a lot, but the only reason I'm winning is because these survivors are making a ton of mistakes. Not helping each other, healing, uh, uh, and like all that. That's the only reason I'm winning. Uh, this map is killing me over here.
Come on, right over here. No, she's over there. There's Dwight up there. I forgot this one had a stupid pallet on it too. Yeah, see, mistakes like that. Uh, she could have got to the pallet, but she didn't go for it. That's the only reason I'm like, making any headway here. They might even be able to finish that generator. It didn't regress enough. And I'm just so slow, I'm not going to be able to make it. ran back this way. Oh! They're body blocking each other. Did he go back this way? He did. I was like, what the hell? Okay, this was a hard and easy match at the same time. Easy because the survivors were making a ton of mistakes and were not helping each other. And hard because I had no map, uh, yeah, no map pressure or gen pressure besides Pop Goes the Weasel. And I couldn't lock down a three gen right at the beginning of the game. The three generators I wanted to protect, the, they got, they spawned right on top of it and uh, separated them and I couldn't do it. If it wasn't for them not saving Kate, I would have most definitely lost because then there would have been their all four survivors would have been cranking out the gens and I wouldn't be able to do anything to stop it. And also, uh, this map is so hard because having the generators be upstairs for someone like Hag to, you know, run up there and do all that, it's just so time consuming. I guess in this case, corrupt intervention would be helpful, but I've, I've been told that Hag doesn't need corrupt intervention. So, I don't know. I kind of like Corrupt Intervention for that reason, but I guess I just gotta get better with her without having to rely on that as a crutch. Monitor and abuse and, uh, what's it called? Oh, a nurse's calling? We're, we're definitely, definitely helpful in these games, these two games that I played here. Um, pa, uh, what's it called? Uh, pa, barbecue and chili? Not so much. Pa, sloppy Butcher would have been much more better in that in that regard but uh you know i really want blood points so and it does help you kind of when the generators are far away but when you're like constantly everyone's close to you it doesn't doesn't do anything it doesn't it's not helpful 
So yeah, um, Sloppy Butcher would be definitely better here, but I'm just trying to, uh, you know, get as much blood points as I can while doing this. So thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would be so kind as like, comment, subscribe, I'll definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.